Hey guys, this is PK News back with another news item. So, there's a fake account made by Pakistani Twitter of a white woman, and uh, she's actually making everybody go crazy. The Kazin, who never existed, made Polish traveler Alex Morse clarify that she's not Kathleen. So if you are somewhat active on Pakistani Twitter, you might have seen a series of tweets garnering a lot of attention over the two last two days. An account by the name of Catherine George claiming to be a traveler in the Twitter bio could be seen falling in love with Pakistan and scenic locales like uh, this picture here. The said Twitter account was made in February 2021 with a following of over 11.2k. All of Kathleen's Twitter timeline is filled with posts praising Pakistan as culture. One tweet that in particular had the Pakistani Twitter both in fits and agony at the same time. Kathleen shared a picture with few men in the backdrop and said, No one in the world respects women as much as Pakistani men. I'm very respectful and humble. And this was a picture no one in the world respects women as much as Pakistani men. It's literally only Pakistani men agreeing with. This white girl in the reply that alone says it all. Well, way to discredit experiences of women who actually live in the country. <laughs> no offense, but... Uh, <laughs> well, a lot of things. Anyway, her stance caught the rookies on social media as many shared their own experiences to be the opposite. Many called out the traveler on how a white woman gets to share her privileged experience in the same country where several women are murdered, killed, or honor and stuff like that however the day after the tweet made headlines this was revealed that Kathleen George is indeed a fake account using pictures of a Polish traveler Alex Rose without her consent here's what unfolded things took a turn for the better when someone contacted Alex on Instagram and asked her for her opinion over the tweets under discussion to which she shared that someone is impersonating her on Twitter and using her pictures without her consent. So that's the story regarding the whole Twitter story and how her she did with the Pakistan but never made a Twitter account. So basically her pictures and her content and mixed with some other content was being shared over Twitter and somebody just got that account working. She later took uh to on to Instagram and clarified the matter. I cannot speak for Pakistan girls and women who know their country best for the shared women for gender based crimes and violence and stuff like that so she actually just went ahead and clarified and just when you think you we were done with that Catherine account started calling out people who were reporting a fake twitter account I only tweet positive news about Pakistan and also share positive news by various bloggers who visit Pakistan what is my crime that all people are using stupid in undues and going gaga over their positive <laughs> speed. So basically, uh, this is just, you know, a story that is coming up in the news. Catherine then shared a snippet from Alex's Insta story where the later shared her honest stance over women's safety in Pakistan. In response to this, Alex called Catherine out once again. This post is cut out from a private account on Instagram without context, she shared. To be clear, I said this post was fake and my photos were used without my consent and I asked for reporting the account of Catherine George. So this is the current story. I'm not too sure if that account is still up or not. Let's just try to check that. Well, it seems that the account is still up at the moment, but it has been reported. So let's see and uh, find out in a few upcoming days if it's still going to be there or not. So this is it right now from PK News regarding the fake account scenario on Twitter. Hope it does get resolved with that PK News out. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching the video. Do try to hit the like button and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye bye.